Hi friends, this is Simran. A very warm welcome to all of you in my channel, The Recipe Hut. For this festive season, let's make a sweet which is very delicious but needs very few ingredients and can be prepared super quick. That is Badam Katli or Almond Fudge. To make this, you'll be needing one and a quarter cup of almond flour. I'm using homemade almond flour and I'll be adding the link in the description box on how to make it. If you want, you can check it out. We'll also need half a cup of sugar, one fourth cup of water, one teaspoon of ghee and one pinch of saffron. Adding saffron is optional. If you want, you can replace it with one fourth teaspoon of cardamom powder. I'm cooking this cutly in an instant pot, but you can cook it on a regular stove top also. So now we'll turn the instant pot on saute mode. Add water, sugar, and saffron give it a good mix and you might want to stir it in between till the sugar completely dissolves because it has a tendency to stick at the bottom after two to three minutes once the syrup starts boiling you can turn the heat on low and then we'll continue stirring you need to cook the syrup till you get a one thread consistency after cooking it for a few minutes, you can see that the syrup has thickened. At this stage, I am turning off the instant pot because the pot is already hot and the syrup will continue to cook more. Now let's check the consistency if we are getting a thread. Not yet, we need to cook it a little more. I let it cook for a few more seconds. Be very careful while doing this step because the sugar syrup will be really hot. It's been some time. Let's again check the sugar syrup. If you take a drop of the syrup in between your thumb and the index finger, you can see that a thread is forming. So we need to cook the syrup till this consistency. Once the sugar syrup comes to this stage, immediately add the almond flour and do not overcook the syrup. Again, I turned on the instant pot on low heat. And now we need to cook this mixture till everything comes together. Keep stirring it nicely because you don't want any lumps in this mixture. And once you see that all the almond flour and the sugar syrup is well combined, at this stage add a teaspoon of ghee. And now we need to cook it for a few more seconds till the mixture leaves the sides of the pan. After cooking the mixture for a few more seconds, you can see that it has come together. And now you can turn off the instant pot. I'm scraping the mixture that is sticking on the ladle and now we will place this on a parchment paper now we just need to press it and knead it for half a minute if you feel that the mixture is sticking to your hands apply a little ghee and then continue kneading it once your almond mixture is nice and smooth you can start rolling it and we can roll it of any thickness we want if you want, you can also place a separate sheet of parchment paper on top of this and then roll it. But rolling it like this works for me. And if the mixture is sticking to the rolling pin, you can always apply a little key and continue rolling. I'm pressing the corners now to make it a little smooth from the corners. I want my cutlies to be a little thin, so I'm rolling it a little more. The dough is nicely rolled out. Now for garnishing, I am adding a silver leaf or chandi work. We need to be very careful with this because it's very delicate. A little bit on this side. Adding this is completely optional. If you want, you can also garnish it with chopped almonds or chopped pistachios. There's one more piece left, so we'll stick it this side. And now we let this rest for 10 to 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes and it is dry now. Time to cut it. I am giving it a diamond shape, but you can cut it in any shape you want. Now I'm just cutting the rough edges. These homemade badam cutlies taste so much better than the store bought ones. Plus, it's fresh and healthier. Our badam cutli is ready, and you can see how perfect it has turned out. And it is so soft. This Diwali, make it for your loved ones, and you will be surprised that how simple and tasty this sweet is. 
And if you try this recipe, do not forget to tell us in the comments how it turned out for you. Thumbs up if you've liked the video, subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get an update when I upload a new recipe. Thanks for watching.